Hey everybody, what is up? So today we're going to be taking a look at iOS 9 Beta 5. So the very first feature we'll be taking a look at is going to be the new wallpapers. So as you guys can see, we've got about 15 new wallpapers and they actually look very, very nice. So they've actually removed the previous iOS 9 default wallpaper and also a lot of iOS 7 wallpapers as well. So these are iOS 9 wallpapers and they look very dope. Then we've got ourselves CarPlay Sports so now. Um, Apple Music as well as um, Beats One is now actually supported and is compatible uh, with Car um, CarPlay. Basically, you can even like the track as well directly from the CarPlay interface as well. Then, if you go to Settings and the next feature is going to be uh, very subtle ones, very simple ones. If you go to General and if you go down to Keyboard, uh, you guys can see we have got text replacement. So instead of text shortcuts, we have got text replacements. Also, if you go to uh, this right here, as you guys can see, we've got App and iTunes Store instead of App Store and iTunes Store. So they now basically renamed it to App and iTunes Store. Basically, this particular feature is just for iPhones and iPod Touches, I believe. So uh, because I can't really see uh, the new Shift keys and the new Backspace uh, keys. Also, we've got ourselves Wi-Fi calling features as well. So now, Wi-Fi calling is built in for AT&T subscribers as well. Uh, then we've got ourselves the new Shuffle All button, uh, which is now prominently placed in the My Music uh, section. Also, we've got ourselves Wi-Fi Assist toggle in cellular for switching to cellular data uh, when the Wi-Fi is weak. So when the Wi-Fi settings aren't strong, uh, it automatically switches you to uh, your cellular data. Then we have got ourselves a picture in picture, uh, and basically now if you're using multitasking, so you're, you know, if you've got another window opened up, you can you can then simply just push that uh, picture in picture window to the side, so you just push it off the screen, and you get yourself a small arrow to bring it back into the frame. So these are pretty much all the new features. Now again, I wasn't really able to show you guys that much because they're just mainly. Uh, for the iPad Air 2 and the iPad Air with that picture-in-picture -picture feature and also a couple of them are actually just for iPhones. However, I'm actually really excited about these new wallpapers. They actually look very stunning. So that's pretty much it guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to my channel, share this video and I will talk to you guys all in my next one. Peace out.